Hey guys, what's going on? We're in Las Vegas at the UFC Performance Institute filming our uh, web series with UFC fighter Darren Till. And today we're going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes while we're filming here in Vegas. So check it out and enjoy. So we're here in Las Vegas filming UFC fighter Darren Till who's preparing for his title fight in Dallas against Tyron Woodley next month. We're shooting a web series, uh, pretty much documentary style, and the requirements were to be as little invasive as possible. So basically that he doesn't even see us being there filming. So even though we had the budget, um, we chose against having a boom operator and for the most part going handheld. We didn't uh, start any elaborate interview setups with different tripods and multiple cameras. So I wanted to rig down our C200 as small as possible. So in the beginning, um, because we had to film a lot of handheld stuff, a lot of interview style, and there was this one point where we filmed a walk and talk in Beverly Hills where I had to walk backwards for 30 minutes uh, without having the ability to lower the camera for once. So that's why I decided to try a shoulder mount setup. So using it for a couple days, I didn't really see any benefits of the shoulder mount and decided to go fully handheld again. Because I think handheld is the way to go if you have the strength to support the camera and if you're not shaking by yourself all the time, I think you're way more flexible. Uh, the camera has a way smaller footprint and like I said, I don't really see the big upside of having a shoulder mount. So we went with the original side grip by Canon because I really love that tiny tool because you can control the entire camera, you have a really sturdy feel in your hand and it's a perfect addition for a handheld setup with the Canon C200. As a microphone we used the uh, shotgun mic by Rode NTG4 Plus because I really like that microphone. It's not the smallest footprint but it's really great quality and it goes directly into your camera via XLRs. So the only other accessory we mounted to the camera is the small HD focus 5 inch monitor. We mounted it via a top plate by Smallrig, um, also with our small accessory uh, monitor mount by Smallrig, which gives us the smallest footprint possible. And that's what I really like. I would have loved to have an SDI monitor, but we're probably going to upgrade that monitor for a bigger one with uh, SDI cables in the near future. But for this documentary, we just shot it with that one. So most of the time we're filming all our videos with prime lenses, but for the flexibility for the series, because we needed to move a lot, we needed to zoom in and zoom out, we primarily used the 16 to 35 2.8 as well as the 24 to 70 by Canon. And sometimes if we knew we didn't have to record audio and could um, manage to be a little bit further back, we used the 70 to 200. And these are the lenses we used the most for this documentary. So as a second camera, Bell utilized the Canon 1DX with a higher focal length so I could use the audio and be up front, record all the audio with my wide angle lenses while she was standing behind and shooting B-roll and second angle with a tele lens. And that's pretty much all the setup we used for uh, our entire series and we were pretty happy about it because it gave us the versatility, a really small footprint and we were as little invasive as possible and everybody was happy. So I hope you like this BTS. Uh, if you want to see more, maybe even if you want to see a bigger breakdown of our series we shot here in Vegas, uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future BTS of other shoots as well. And I see you on the next one.